Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic integration. So here we have the situation for the integration. B. Basic rule. Or we can say direct method. So number one, we have the situation which is a constant or we can say fixed value. So later on, I'm going to have a several example for the constant or the fixed value for the basic rule. So here we have the example. Integrate e to the power of 3 respect to x. So now refer to the situation. Here we have e to the power of 3, which is a constant. If it is a constant, the answer would be e to the power of 3, x plus c. Another example, we have integrate sine 30 dx. Again, sine 30 is a fixed value. If we press the calculator, so we will have sine 30 x plus c. Next, another example, we will have integrate pi respect to x. So in here, the pi is a value. It's a fixed value. So meaning that when we integrate the pi with respect to x, and we will have pi x plus c. Next, we have integrate ln 3 respect to x. So as we all know, the ln 3 is a fixed value. So we will have ln 3 x plus c. So here we have the example for the constant or the fixed value. The second situation for the basic rule or the direct method would be the x to the power of n, where n is a constant. So given integrate x to the power of n respect to x. So the situation would be x to the power of n plus 1 and divide by n plus 1 plus with c. So for the example, integrate x to the power of 2 respect to x. And we will have x 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. So if we integrate x squared respect to x, and we will have x to the power of 3 over 3 plus c. Next, we have another example. So if integrate x to the power of ln 2 respect to x, and we will have x ln 2 plus 1 over ln 2 plus 1 plus c. So this is the example for the second situation, which is x to the power of n. Next, we will have the third situation for the basic rule or the direct method, which is bracket ax plus b to the power of n, where a, b, and n are constant. And take note, n cannot be equal to negative 1. So here we have the example a. So if given the situation integrate bracket 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 respect to x. So first, 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Do remember to differentiate the internal function. Differentiate the internal function and we will have 2 plus with c. So finally, the situation would be 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 over 3 multiple with 2 and we will have 6 plus with c. Next, kindly refers to b. So if we integrate bracket 2x plus 1 to the power of 10 respect to x, then we will have 2x plus 1 to the power of 10 plus 1, we will have 11 
over 11 multiply with the internal function do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will obtain 2 plus with c rewrite the situation and finally we will have 2x plus 1 to the power of 11 over 22 plus c and we also can use the substitution method to solve the c let u is equals to 2x plus 1 differentiate the situation with respect to x so we will have du dx differentiate 2x plus 1 and we will have 2 rewrite the situation so that we can substitute the situation where we have du over 2 which is equals to dx so kindly refers to the situation here we will have 2x plus 1 which is equals to u and for the dx which is equals to du over 2 so kindly substitute the situation integrate u to the power of 10 for the situation dx it is equals to du and we will have 1 over 2 kindly integrate the situation u to the power of 10 and we will have u to the power of 11 over 11 plus with the c do remember we have to multiply with 1 over 2 so finally u to the power of 11 over 22 plus c kindly remember u actually is equals to 2x plus 1 so finally 2x plus 1 to the power of 11 over 22 plus c so here we are and thanks for watching